Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with NBC 11 Live, Team 1-1, Born to Compete. Yo, I got that linebacker beside me that will literally knock your lights out. I'm talking about lights on, you're running the ball, lights off, you're getting up off the ground. Something happened in between that, put you in concussion protocol. It's a new day these days, I understand. <laughs> Ashton Woods, what's up, homie? Nothing much. How you Glad feeling, to be here. Man? Good. Doing Good. Good. great. Yes, sir. Walton High School, fantastic linebacker. Ashton, look, man, you've been getting that, uh, you've been getting that, that burn on that field for <laughs> since your freshman year. Yes, Tell sir. me about it. Shoot, it's great. I love it. like even freshman year. Uh -huh. That first game, I was so nervous. I know you were. I know you were. But now I'm getting more comfortable with the mm -hmm. speed. Like this year is it's come way easier. And like even the end of last year, it just like it clicked. Finally. I want to go back a little bit. I think it was your freshman year and y'all were playing, was it Coquit that y'all were playing? Coquit. There you go. See, I'm here. I'm here with you. I'm here. Uh, you go out there and it's your, it, yeah, you were playing, but that was kind of like your, hey world, I'm, I can do this at the high school yeah, level. That, what was it like for you in that particular game? Well, before that game, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of freaking out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but after that, like the very first, it was the very first play, I flew through the gap, yeah. hit the guard with the running back uh, tackle for loss. So then after that, I was good. I was like, I can do this. And they were number one team in the state at the time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let's go. All right, man, uh, this past weekend, uh, you had Kennesaw. You guys go out there against Kennesaw, and, and you really, you know, from the opening whistle, you guys get after it. Uh, just yes, tell me sir. about that game. Oh, shoot. Our defense, we, were, we, were, we shut them down. Yeah. I'm like, like the week before, we, had, we didn't have the best week. We we're not, we we're struggling on third and fourth downs, and like that was our motivation throughout the whole week, and we went out there. I don't know how many third downs we gave up, but maybe one or two. Mm -hmm. And that, so we were proud about that. And then offense went crazy. Yeah. So it was a good game plan by our coaches. We, we switched up from a 4-2 to a 3-2 to have like a man, safety hanging for the RPOs that they loved. Mm -hmm. And then we, we played soft coverage, so we played them deep. And then we left the box light because we thought that we could settle the run pretty well, and we did. You know what I like about Ashton here? Ashton is a football junkie like me. You can talk <laughs> football with him all day long. Especially I love him when you talk about your concepts, your schemes, yeah. and everything like that on defense. I know, Coach, Coach, we didn't give out too much. It's okay, Coach. Y'all be all right. I know it's a new game plan next week. Here's what I like about your defense. You're where you're supposed to be, where you're mm -hmm. supposed to be there, right? You guys get people on the ground. And now, I don't know what's happened. I don't know who put some, something in the juice that you're drinking. I don't know what's going on. I don't know a car. He's over there sitting there, sitting on the couch. He just said something about some family members. Or I don't know what's happening. But every time I'm looking out there, all I hear is that something going on. And well, I'm, hey, I it's because we hit Kari every day in practice. It, it's something. We, we, we got to hit harder now. It's, it is something, man. I saw two hits on there that, you know, if I was the parent, it would have took my breath away. I'm, I'm dead serious. It would have took my breath away as the parent of the opposing player. Uh, Whoo! Yeah, like, I know, I know like you know the two hits I'm talking about. <laughs> but let's just talk about your hit. You got a hit on the, I want to say it was a running back or a receiver. Anyway, somebody was running the ball. Yeah, and it was a running back. That's what I thought it was. Smaller guy. Yeah. And, and uh, you hit him so hard. Like, the, the numbers on his jersey was gone. <laughs> it, it was gone. When he got up, he just said, hey, coach, I'm just, I'm just, this is who I am today, you know? But uh, just tell me about that big hit. Just tell me about the, the, the way you guys are playing way more physical now. Yeah, our, our team, we, we love to hit. Like, mm -hmm. We're always juiced up at practice going 100 yeah. miles an hour. And that's what I love about our defense. Mm -hmm. But that hit, I, was, I saw the gap open wide up. And I was playing on the outside. I was bumped out, so he didn't even see me coming. And I, I just know. came in to ear hold him. And then I, I didn't even notice how big of a hit it was until I looked at the film. I was like, man, Ooh, I should have celebrated a yeah. little bit. <laughs> That's the way it is. You get them, you just want to swing a little bit. Like, like, who hit me? But uh, you know, that was good, man. Okay, look, you guys are doing great. Offense is back playing well. Defense is back playing well. I, I loved your coaches because the way he coaches, he coaches like he has 100% belief in what y'all mm -hmm. do. No matter what, I don't care how this is going to go. I'm rolling with my guys. How are we looking for the rest of the season? Shoot, I think we should, we're we going to win the next region game. I, I don't want to say like overconfidently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But say we're about to go 1-0. Yeah. I'm here. We're 1-0 every week. There you go. And then playoffs, I don't know what seed we'll get. We'll see how North Cobb and Kennesaw Mountain go out. So hopefully we get number one, but I don't care. Faceless, opponent, faceless opponents. we got to go out there and just 
Oh, I love that. No matter. I love that. Faceless opponents. I love that. That, that means, for, for those that don't know, that means it doesn't matter if, uh, uh, you know, granddaddy come on the field. <laughs> it don't matter if uh, big cousin come on the field. Pookie and them, y'all know what I'm talking about. It don't matter if they come on the field, he gonna give it to them no matter what, man. And look, you've been getting some attention, right? College-wise, mm -hmm. you know, some good things been working out for you. Yes, sir. Um, I won't ask you necessarily who you lean towards or anything like that. What I will ask is, what type of school has your interest? Whether it's the scheme they play, whether it's, you know, the atmosphere of the school, like what has caught your attention about particular schools? Uh, I really try to just look, like, see the players and like yeah. the culture on the team. Like how the coaches connect with the players. Yeah. It's not even more about the scheme or like, like all the fancy stuff. It's just like about how, like who who's like me, like yeah. how I fit into like. I mean, yeah, I guess their scheme, like their scheme, yeah, their you. their players. Yeah. And like some schools I went to, I really like how like I feel like the players are more like me, mm -hmm. and like not like all about themselves. They're about other people and like the family and the culture. That's what I, that's what I want to see. Here's the cool part, right? You have family that has played at the college level. Mm -hmm. uh, just tell me kind of what is, kind of advice real quick, you know, 30 seconds. What kind of advice are they giving you to say, you know, hey, here's what you want to, you know, pick for your next place? Well, they told me, think about everything. Like, don't think about just football because they all bad through injuries and adversity. Like, yeah, Dom, my brother, he tore his ACL twice. He was really down about that, but it made him open up his eyes about, like, focusing on school, like everything about college that you can. So that's why he told me just like pick your school on like everything, like not only football, just like everything around it, like how you love it. Yeah. Got you. Any shout outs, anything you want to give me? Uh, shout out to my family, my teammates, my coaches. Thank you for all y'all do for me. I would never be the place where I am without all y'all. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> good to me. I like it, man. Former linebacker of the year for B2C, of course, in the younger days right there. He's grown into a heck of a ball player, man. We're going to start calling him the bloodline or whatever. They something like <laughs> Come from a good family tree, man. <laughs> Ashton Woods, linebacker, Walton High School. Guys, make sure you catch us Friday night, NBC 11 Live, Team 1 1 with Maria, Reg. Before I say this, have you seen Reg, our guy, new guy? Uh -uh. He has a new haircut every week. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see it. So, Reg, my guy Rick, always smiling, and, of course, Maria, somewhere waving. Great person. I'm Alex, born to compete, the number one segment of the country. Take care, guys.